actress. She stars in Abducted, the Carolina White story, which premieres Saturday on Lifetime. Yes! <laughs> there goes my weekend. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Kiki Palmer, everybody. Kiki Palmer. You look great. Thank you I so mean, much. I mean, really fantastic with your suit. Thank you so much. It's lovely. It's shiny and eye-catching, and I very much like your collar. Thank you. Thank you so much for this. I feel so good today now. Mm, that was good. It's my job to help you feel good. It's true. It's true. <laughs> hey, you've, you've been on this show before, right? I have. You see, when now, I was but, like 12 or 13. Yeah, you were. it was like my first week or something. Yes, it was the beginning. You, you didn't get a photograph out of that, right? You no, know, you didn't think. You didn't think, did you? <laughs> You bastard. <laughs> no, but we should we should look that we could have looked that up. We should look that up. Yeah. Well <laughs> So how was the rest of your childhood then? Was it all right? Yes, it was very good enjoying myself. You know? Yeah, yeah. So you were twelve? What were you here for again? I was here for killing the bee. A killing the yes, bee, that's the right, bee. yeah. And then, and then <clears throat> Oh look. A lot of these people remember that. They remember that movie. Did any of you bring a photograph by any chance? <laughs> what about, uh, what about what, what's this story then? Is there any bees in this? Oh, no, there are no bees in do this. Do you like bees? I do like bees. Well, I like to look at them. I like the honey that they give, but I don't like to be stung. <laughs> no. Well, they will only sting you if you annoy them. One time my sister stepped on a, a bee stump outside of my grandmother's house and they bit her. I mean, they like stung her, stung her, stung her like so bad. My grandma had to like put her in a bath of salt. Is that, I don't know why that. I don't is know that what, what it does? The salt sucks out the bee sting? I don't know. My grandma had a lot of like crazy little things. You know like what that. you want for a bee sting is a uh, macadamia nut. What? <laughs> Are you serious? A macadamia nut? Really? No, I just made it up. Uh, <laughs> So there's no bees in this story then? No bees well, in this story. Is this wise? Because the killing the bee was a big hit for you. So, you know, you want to stick with what's, what but works. What works. It's true. Yeah. It's true. It's no bees, no Lawrence Fishburne, no Angela Bassett. I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, well, uh, what is it about then? It's about, well, my character Carlina, she gets abducted as a bee from the hospital. By bees? No, not by bees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not by bees. Take her away. She will lead us. Lead us. Please. Take us, human child, and lead us. <laughs> she gets abducted by uh, a woman who has endured a lot of uh, miscarriages. So, you know, she's kind of sad and she wants a baby. So she abducts me. Right. And she keeps me in. When I'm 23, I realize that something's not right. None of my birth certificates are, you know, going through. People keep saying that pretty much I don't exist. And so then I decide to just look up one day on the missing children's thing and, I, and my. Baby picture looks like my daughter's baby photo, and so then that's when I decide to go forward, and I found out that I had been missing for 23 years. Good Lord. And when do the bees come in? <laughs> there is a quick moment where we're outside, and you kind of like see one go really quickly, but... Right, right, right. It so doesn't have a baby. It's like a, a cameo. It's like a cameo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> come on, then. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Oh, you, you did pistols. Yes, I did. You did pistols. Yeah, yeah, We did five and then pistols. Do it again. Yeah. I like it. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. So funny. <laughs> All right. So, is this a true story? It is a true story. It's Good a true story. But you can't even be 23 yet. You must be like 18 or something. I'm actually 30. I'm just kidding. <laughs> black no <don't> black. <laughs> Up here. Then there. Yeah. No, I'm 19. But this, so this is the first time I've actually played an older role. Usually I play with my age. Do you play the 23 year old? Oh, yeah. God, I'm really, I'm really, I was really reaching for that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean, uh, the, the thing is uh, about, it, so it's a true, did you meet the person that was actually abducted? I didn't get a chance to meet her, but I got to talk to her on the phone after the movie filmed. I wanted, mm. I really was trying to get to talk to her while the movie was filming because I, you know, I just wanted to see where she was thinking, where she was coming from because honestly speaking, I don't know what I would have done if I found out I was abducted. Well, you see, this is one of the reasons we've called you here tonight. <laughs> A shift of mood here. Yeah, yeah. Well, well he, he's, I am your father. <laughs> your father? Yes. Where have you been all my life? You weren't there for me? I was, kind of. <laughs> Whenever you thought a bee was nearby, <laughs> and then that time your sister got her leg stung, that was me. <laughs> well, what was the, with the symbol of the bees? 
to remind you. <laughs> Uh, so what's up with you then? Where do you live? Where do I live now? Yeah. I live in Studio City. I actually just moved Well, out. don't tell us the exact area, huh? <laughs> They're going to come get me. Some yeah, yeah. Me. No, but no, where are you from? I'm from Chicago. Oh, I see. I like Chicago. It's windy yeah. there, though, yeah. It is, it is. Do you is. know Oprah? Did you ever meet Oprah? I met Oprah once for really? Killing the Bee. Oh, yeah. What was she? She played the Queen Bee, didn't she? No. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, oh, you are woo Buzz, buzz, buzz. Mm -mm -mm. What sign are you? Whoa. I'm a Taurus. What sign are you? I'm a Virgo. We're best friends, astrologically. You know nothing about me, young lady. <laughs> Except I'm a Taurus. What sign are you, Jeff? Uh, nut farm. Nut farm, yeah. Nut farm. Yeah. Have you read Roseanne's book? Say it again. Have you read Rosa? What, what, I've got an accent or something? <laughs> I like your uh, jewelry, by the Thank way. You. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you so much. Nice. That's a, that's a big, are you, is that an engagement ring? Well, if I wish, what if somebody really gave me an engagement ring this big? I would be just like, oh my gosh, what? I would try to show it every, at every moment. Oh, did you see? Yeah, I know. I mean, that would be big. It would have to be like a prince or something. To it get, would. Or, or actually prince. I could be like Grace Kelly. <laughs> Could, you could you could be the princess of uh, where does Prince live Minnesota? Who oh, does that? Work? He's from Minnesota. Man. Yeah, I think he still lives there. Yeah. He does still live there. Yeah, he drives up and down in his purple motorbike. And not not in his not in his little red Corvette. No, not in the red Corvette. The purple motorbike. And he's like, <laughs> he's driving around. He's like, <laughs> you know what he does that little thing. He does that thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the doves go. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of time, so I thought I'd offer you some produce. Now these are, what is this here? Um, apparently these are garbage, but it's called a, it's called a Kiwanu after Kiwanu Reeves. Kiwanu Reeves. Yeah, yeah, this is, this was uh, the first choice for The Matrix. Oh, and they just decided they opted not. They decided to go with an actor instead. The movie was much weirder at first. Um, and then there's these. What, yeah, what is this? Oh, that, it's soft. Yeah, I think that's a pepino. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so you don't want any fruit or you want some fruit? I'll take an apple. Why not, you mm, know? I'll take an apple. Oh, yeah, shiny red apple. Oh, what's it going to do to me? Why don't you bite into it and find out? <laughs> oh, you got it right on me. Yeah, right. Yeah, all right, we got to go. We'll be right back, everybody. So, guess what? We found a photograph of the last time you were here. We did. Well, yeah, apparently. Can, can, can we see it then? Let's see it. Ah. Oh. Man, I look like a hobo. <laughs> Show it again. I'm That's like to catch a predator, man. <laughs> what do you think? I look crazy, too. You look like if... No, but you're a little... Girl, look, look at that again. That's like... <clears throat> That's like... Do you want to get in my van? <laughs> That's scary. I'm sorry if I scared you when you were here last time. You didn't. I was empathetic to what you were going through. What was I going through? I don't know. You mentioned it then, you know? I don't remember. Let's, let's forget it. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Kiki Palmer, everybody. I feel like we watched you grow up on the show. You you came here when you were 13, Akila and the Bee, yes, remember? Yes, I came here very, very, very young. Were you scared? Was I a very creepy man who's scary? You always have been. It's always been a bit of a I know I'm creepy. I know yes. I'm creepy, but you mustn't be scared. I'm all right. It's cool. It's the accent, I think, that got me. It's not a creepy accent. <laughs> is it a little bit? Yes, it is. Really? Yes. 
<laughs> no, people like this accent. It reminds me of Leprechaun Back to the Hood. Have you seen that movie? <laughs> no, but I feel I should. What is that? <laughs> Leprechaun Back to the Hood? So I'm a huge horror movie buff. I right. love horror movies. Love right. them, love them, love them. And so there's this, you know, Leprechaun. He's the, you know, horror film sensation. Right. And one of his mini series is Leprechaun Back to the Hood. He went to the hood once. Right. And this is him coming back to the hood. And what? What, what happens when he goes to the hood? Does he do what? creepy things? He's like, hey, 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 ha, ha, ha. Oh, that scared yes, you there. Like, ah, yeah. Yes, it definitely did. He does a lot of creepy things. But this, the series gets funny after a while. Like, in the beginning, it was really scary. Jennifer Aniston actually appeared in one of the Leprechaun series. Did she really? She did in the first one ever, she did. Is she still doing them? Or no, no. <laughs> No, anymore. no. Have you done a horror movie yet? No, I would love it's to. It's time. It's time. If you like doing horror movies, you should do it. You'd be great. You'd be like the young girl, like the scary leprechaun coming through if the If I can, can I show you my scary, like my scream? Yo, yeah. You going to do a scream? Yes. Would you, would you like me to be scary? Yes, be scary. Uh, all right. Uh, what, what kind of scary? Uh, like uh, Dracula? Like, like you just killed my brother and now you're coming to kill me. All right. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> uh, okay, you ready? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I think, I think. Yeah. Yeah. If Wes Craven is wow. watching, if Wes Craven is watching, he has to put me in the Yeah, next he one. does. And maybe I should be in it too. I think that would be a good look. Yeah. Maybe I could do this. Look, I've just seen this one as well. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Good job. That's a little more kind of like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. It's lovely. So tell me about this uh, show you're doing on the CW. What's yes. that? The uh, the show again? <laughs> nine oh two one. Yeah, nine oh yes. two one. Of course, the numbers. Yes, yeah. the numbers. I'm working on that show. I get to play with one of my good friends, Robbie. We met on the set, and he plays my brother in the show. So my character is pretty much coming from a very prominent family, and right. it's like a little creepy things going down. And but my brother is dating one of the characters in the show. Oh. And so I'm like in there like going on being creepy and with some like political stuff. Yeah, it's... <laughs> this is not a show for 50-year-old white guys, is it? <laughs> it's definitely I'm like, that. can we watch Crossfire or something? <laughs> No, no. Well, that's that's good though. Are you having a nice time doing it? You shooting it yeah. here in L.A.? Yeah, shot it here in L.A. There you um, go. Did uh, I think it was like five episodes, and I have a lot of fun. It was fun. It are you was done? Cool. Are you done with it? Now? Yeah, I just finished it. Are you going to go on vacation then? I actually didn't get to go on vacation. I went to film another movie. Do you know TLC? Uh, yeah. Scrub is a guy. Oh, Scrub. Yes. TLC. TLC. I just filmed the. TLC that's like that's like a. Scrub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, did they not did the other one with the don't go. Tasting waterfalls. waterfalls. Yeah. yeah. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> so I just, um, I just finished the TLC movie. So it is a, it's like a, what, a biopic. Yes, of the it is. TLC? A biopic so you play. Guess. Um, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I'm guessing you don't remember the exact name. No, exactly. No. Yes. Oh, so I play Chili. Right, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Thank okay. you, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So do you sing in the movie? Uh, well, I do sing in some acapella points, but for the most part, they're going to use the original music. Oh, okay. But I do do, do some dancing in there. That's and I get nice. to do my sexy debut because, you know, Chili's known as being sexy. Right, so I right. Be really I don't, I, I, I got to say, I'd be, that'd be a little weird because, you know, I, you know you've been coming here since you're 13. <laughs> I know. I feel a little parental towards you. I see that, I'd be like, oh, get to bed, young lady. I'm not so... <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah. I wish more people felt that way. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I gotta be honest with you. I don't feel that way about everybody. <laughs> I've known you since you were a little girl. It's kind of different, you know. It is very true. Do right? you think? Do you think it's it's uh, it's odd for a, a girl to grow up as an actress like that? Do you think it affects you negatively in some way? I it depends on how you see negatively. Like, I know sometimes, every time I'll be hanging out with someone, they'll immediately think I'm like, they don't want to be themselves around me because they think I'm like Mother Teresa or something like that because they've seen me grow up and, you know, right. my image, it's, you know, always been a good image. Well, so. yeah, you're, you're kind of a good girl. You yes. Know. Which I'm and you better about. be because there's Lutherans <laughs> here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I know, noticed that sometimes it takes people a long time before they really learn my personality, that they can be, you know, comfortable around me. Just because I'm a good girl doesn't mean I'm judgmental. Right. 
I am judgmental. Oh, no. Why? I don't know what it is. It's not that I'm a particularly good person. In fact, I'm not a very nice person at all. But I do have this judgment thing. I like to judge people. Why? I think it's because I... What's that coming to go? <laughs> I think that... I don't really, I don't really, I mean, I do, and then I say, what are you doing, what are you doing? But, like, my first in instinct is to kind of, like, go, oh. <laughs> and then, and then I try not to. Well, do you, you know? say it aloud? No, no, okay, I'm not me. I'm You're not like, mean talk about it. And head. if I am mean about people, then I say, it's a joke, at the end of it, and it's fine. <laughs> I've done that one a few uh, times. I hate it, though. You ever make a joke, and then you think, oh, well, why did I say that? That's... I hate when my jokes fail. It's uh, very painful. You then don't be me, because... <laughs> Like when your jokes fail, I feel like your heart just crumbles in that moment in time, and you're like looking, and everyone's just watching you crumble. It's so, it's sad. Where was the sympathy during the monologue, you bastard? Baby, <laughs> we're, we're out of we're out of time. You, you want to do an awkward pause or uh, throw frisbees at the horse, or what do you want to do? Wait. What happens with the awkward pause? You just sit here awkwardly? Yeah, it's kind of an awkward thing. You act. You know, you act act awkwardly and we see where it goes. Okay, let's see where it goes. Let's do that. Uh, I don't Jason know. Did, Jason I don't know if you're thing. old enough yet for an awkward pause. Were you 19 now? Yes, I am. I'll be 20 in August. Woo! Wait, 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 wait. I was 20 ages ago. Where's my applause? <laughs> All right, now let's, let's do an awkward pause. Wow, you look great. Thank you so much. And you smell great. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I did all of this just for you. I hope that you know. Oh, well, thank you. You don't need to dress up to be here, though. <laughs> you look... I mean, you've been coming here since you were a little girl. I know. It's pretty crazy. It's you, I mean, you were really young when you first came on the show. What were you, like, eight or something? Not that young. All right. I was uh, more like 10, 11. 10, yeah. It was, uh, it was the bee movie. Yes, where, Akilah the Bee. You're right. And it, there wasn't a real bee in it, which I think no. was the problem. Right. <laughs> Kind of threw people for a loop there, you know. Yeah, I, I wanted it to be a movie about a girl who had a best friend who was a bee. Wow. Oh, look, we've got a picture of when you were here. Look, this is when you were here when you oh were a little baby God. girl. Yeah. Fuck. I know. Oh, it's right. Oh, my gosh. Look at little Kiki. I know. <laughs> I got to be honest with you. you. You look similar. <laughs> you look great. I don't look older at all. Yeah, well, you look more sophisticated, okay. but you don't look older. Oh, okay. I've I been around women good. before. So you, you're giving therapy sessions? Oh, sure, yeah. You want some? Uh, what do you want, tobacco or crack? <laughs> you know, I've been meaning to express things to someone for a very long time. I've been having some issues, you know, as really? a child actor. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, I can help you. Hold on. Would you like it in Austrian accent or just regular? Just regular. Okay. Are you sure? Because I can do it like this. <laughs> Whatever makes you feel comfortable, whatever will help me get the best thing, you know. Well, uh, whatever makes you feel comfortable. So you're trying to express something to someone? Is this a, a gentleman friend? Well, more so, uh, you know, my family. You know, whenever I would wake up in the morning, I always felt empty. Empty? Well, you should have a nice, nutritious breakfast. <laughs> so, that'll be $600. <laughs> Were you feel empty inside? I felt empty inside. Yeah. But well, you might be right. It might have just been that I needed. You might have been hungry, yeah. Might have been hungry. Uh, I mean, that's what it was. You know, get a little dramatic when you're an actor. It's everything. Do you find around. yourself more dramatic than you were before you were acting, which was, let's be honest, in kindergarten and that's it? Oh, I've always been pretty dramatic. That is yeah. true. I guess I've always been 
pretty dramatic. Well, you're not. I mean, you're very friendly and, and personable and outgoing, but I only see you here, of course. I don't yeah. see you when you're grumpy. You don't want to see me. I don't want to see you when you're grumpy. You're it's absolutely not a good time. right. It's not a good time. Really? I look much like I did on the clip you showed. That was kind of, you know, you were. You, I gave you yeah. the thing. And that's uh, that's David Boren and us from the Bonio <laughs> Show. Yes, I don't know him from Angel. You remember? Oh him. yes, of course. Yeah, I know him from the Bonio Show where they solve crimes with bones. Yes, that is pretty. It's epic. A, that's a great show. You ever that, seen that? That show? is a great show. I have seen. And it. they use bones. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, he means bones. Yeah, bones. <laughs> I said boom. <laughs> are you are you mocking my accent? I am mocking your accent. You are. I thought accent. we were friends. You've been coming here since you're a little girl. So uh, tell me, how are things going at college then? You done with college? I actually didn't go to college. Uh oh. <laughs> Neither did I. But you didn't. No. How did you have this wonderful job? <laughs> with this job. <laughs> This may surprise you. I don't think it will. There's no college requirement in show business. You just have to be Guess a bigger douche than anybody else. Push your way to the front. That part's Push not your true. way to the front. That's what it is. Really? You don't think so? No, I'm nice. Yes, you are. That's true. You are very nice. But that'll get... That'll go. <laughs> Around what time, you think? First Oscar nomination is my guess. Sometimes right about your first Oscar it. nomination, you will become an unmitigated... No, you won't. You'll be a fine. Mitigated. A mitigated... Yeah, yeah. No, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Do you handle success well? I'd hope so. I think you do. I mean, you, you're used to it. Really? Yeah, you've been getting it since Aquila and the Bee. Come on, you must be used to it by now. <laughs> it doesn't feel like that to me. It, it feels like... I don't know how to explain it, but... It never feels like, oh, you know, I'm so successful. It just feels like, oh, you know, I'm living my life, doing my thing. Yeah. <laughs> How come they laugh when you say, yeah? I give them candy. <laughs> I, there's candy here if you want some. There's a little uh, chocolate. Uh, chocolate quarter. made out of quarters, but yeah, not yeah. real They're quarters. actually illegal. What? Yeah, you can't, uh, you're not allowed to make chocolate out of quarters. What? Dial it down a little. Just try it again. <laughs> Wait, no, you're... No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So what's going on then? What are you doing when you're not acting then? Are you, uh, you volleyball? Do you do that? I don't play volleyball. Oh, well, you surprised me. But I do play NBA jams. Do you really? I do play NBA jams. Oh, I enjoy no, myself. Oh, no, oh. On the PlayStation, mm -hmm. I'm getting it in. I'm usually Kobe, maybe LeBron. Okay. Just saying. I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> you don't watch sports? Of course I watch sports. I just don't watch the NBA. Oh, don't look you, at me okay. like I stole your handbag. <laughs> So what do you watch? I watch a little hockey. That's a sport. Okay, you watch hockey. You mm -hmm. like to see people get beat up. No, that's a different thing that I watch for that. <laughs> I watch, I do watch boxing. Do you watch the- Did you watch the Floyd? Yes, you know? I did. What'd you think? What'd you think? Oh my gosh. I love Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, I tell you though, when he, whenever he boxes someone, he, like whenever he's in a fight like yeah. that, I always think that he makes the other guy look so bad. Yeah, I think, it's embarrassing for me. I think, well, you know, is that really a fight or did that really happen? The but that Canelo is, guy's a real guy. The Canelo guy, he's a really good guy. He's a, he's a great boxer. The thing was, Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather's defense is so good. He's just so, he's like moving so quick. Yeah. He's like you could barely catch him. I think that's the main thing. Canelo just got dizzy for a second. It was just. Yeah, that's right. It was really the and it's thing. And that, that low arm thing. That yeah. low arm thing. And he that just lean, starts playing around. He was making me... I get very high anxiety watching it. It's just... Mm -hmm. I get nervous. My hands start shaking. My palms get sweaty. Whoa. But it was just... I, 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 the main thing I did enjoy... I did like that Floyd Mayweather at the end. He said, you know, Canelo's a great fighter. Yeah, he, he did. Great, he was very classy he, at the end. Yeah, I really was, was glad yeah. about that because mm. Canelo is a great fighter. And I think he just was not knowing what to expect. I mean... Did you watch the fight before? Did you watch the, the, the Argentinian guy fighting? I watched the end, the little end part of it. Yeah, no, that was a good fight. Yeah. I don't like when the fights get too bloody. When he gets too bloody, I'm out of there. No, no, you're watching it for the... No, I don't watch it yeah, for no, blood. Uh, you watch blood, you can watch uh, True Blood. Do you watch that? <laughs> True Blood went on the deep end a bit. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it was too bloody for me for a while. I was like, everywhere I turned, I saw a naked body. <laughs> I was like, I gotta, gotta step up out of this. Yeah, you're right. I don't like you watching that. You know that. I don't want you watching you that. You know that. You do you get to bed. I don't want you watching that. We're out of time. Oh, I was yeah. going to ask you if you watched The Orange is the New Black. I did. I watched all of it. That yeah. show is yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. And...
Taylor Schilling was here like uh, last night, the night before. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, she's quite tall. She is. Yeah, I was surprised. I would love to go on that show and harass her in an episode. You gonna give me, are you gonna give me the money or what? I could be, you don't think I could be a jail person? <laughs> Take off the suit? No, I don't think you could. I think you're a good enough actress, but I think you and your life, you're a good enough actress to, p to play a jail person, but I would never believe you were a jail person if I just met you not acting. How's that? <laughs> also, you don't look older, you just look uh, more glamorous. Also, you smell great. <laughs> Kiki Bauer, everybody, Kiki Bauer. Please welcome the lovely Kiki Palmer, everybody, Kiki Palmer. How are you? You look sensational. I mean, oh. just beautiful. You always make me feel so good. Well, here's the thing. I mean, you started coming on the show when you were 12 years old. Yeah. Yeah. Very, and, uh, very it's young. a very weird thing for me because I like now I'm like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's kind of you've you've changed so much. I know. I know. I know. I'm glad we can have these reunions. You know, <clears throat> I want to show you my new tattoo. I oh, heard yes, that please. We both got our tattoos. Well, you got some other tattoos. I got I got mine in New Orleans too. Did you go to Electric Ladyland? No, was it, is that the place you got yours? That's the only place to go in New Orleans. <laughs> I gotta go check that place out. Yeah, well, let me see I love tattoo. tattoos. What'd you get? God, God is, is love. love. Controversial. <laughs> That's a controversial one. A lot of people will be like, I don't know, Kiki. I don't know. Is that your first one? No, I actually have five. I have this one too, look. Oh, look. Uh, do you mind if I read it? I don't yeah, want to get to it. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh, we are what we reportedly, repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. That's very good. Did, is... Aristotle. Yeah. Aristotle? Aristotle. I talk to him every now and then. Aristotle, this is very impressive having Aristotle tattooed in your armpit. <laughs> Thank you for that. Are you a student of Aristotle? I was for some time. Really? Yes, you know. I, don't, I know next to nothing about Aristotle, I suppose. I, other than what I've read on your arm. <laughs> well, we got, we got, we got. I got he was very him. clever. He was very clever. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's. Uh, where are the other ones then? I have one under here. Don't bother with that. <laughs> oh uh, and then I have one on my ankle. Uh, oh yeah, a little, uh, little anchor. Anchor, you know. Yeah. And I got a, a heart, two hearts behind my ear. My sister and I got that together. Oh, and that's yeah. that's that for you, you and your sister. Yeah. Did What's it, up, you, you got them in all your tattoos in places that really hurt. Are you into pain? Hold on a second. Are you into pain? <laughs> I'm doing the therapist. Yeah. You know, I will admit this. Whenever I get a tattoo, I it kind of do. I kind of do like it. What well, the the the, the feeling? You know, I kind of do too. Except when I got it here. That was here. Like oh yeah, like that. Right. That that no. There is okay. But just when it Ooh, creeps into your uh, it creeped up too high. You let it creep well, up too high. I was like. Uh, you let it creep up too high. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. And when you start, when you're like a middle-aged white guy and you start crying in the tattoo parlor, it's the funniest they got thing. They got you to the tears. Oh yeah. I was like. <laughs> No. Do you have picture tattoos? I don't really have many picture tattoos. I usually quote it up, and I had to get myself to stop because I always go to this website to get these quotes, and if I would have kept going, I really would be a quote book on my whole body. I put too many quotes on me. Well, that's all right. That's going to make you... Uh, you're pretty interesting anyway. I mean, uh, but, <laughs> but like, you know, you, you, people could read you. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> you could start a story, and then if you like someone, you could say, do you want to see chapter two? <laughs> Uh, what's the thing on uh, the Lifetime? What's that about? So I did a trip to Bountiful. That'll be coming out March 8th. Right. Cicely Tyson, which was so awesome to get to work with her. Yeah, she's um, good. Period piece. First big period piece I've ever done. The last right. thing what I did. What period like, is it? 1950s. Oh, right. 1953. Okay. Did, oh, so you would have phones like this? <laughs> yes. Well, how do you even use this? I have how no idea. Get, how do you get this stuff? Oh! Here, Kiki, you've been in the 1950s. You, you, you do it. Here. Okay, okay. What's going on? Yeah, hello, how you doing? 
I'm doing pretty good. What's what? How'd you know to find me? Oh, I know where you are. I've always known. <laughs> Say, let's uh, let's cut right to chapter four, shall we? Excuse <laughs> me. Hey, you're not you're no good. You're no good. That wasn't me. If you noticed when you were, I wasn't going talking like that. So I wasn't. I'm not that good. That was. That was I'm not that good. I, I, I can, can I'm gonna you? start talking like you. I, what, what, can you? Can you? <laughs> Can you say, oh, cheeky monkey, Shrek, donkey, farty, oh, donkey, yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you went too fast. Well, that's a problem I've had no! before. <laughs> Yeah, I had poor boys in New Orleans. I had oysters. Do you have oysters? I, I didn't have oysters oh. yet, but I really do love oysters. You oh, love oysters? No, Why? no. It's like salty snot going down <laughs> your. I didn't like it at all. I mean, then they were really good, and the people were really nice, and they were like, you know, that way they talk. Oh, yeah, they, they, ah. they always say baby. Yeah, well, not to me, but they, uh, <laughs> but they, they give me the thing, and I was like, oh. oh. I went into it. No, and Steve Carell was with me, and he Steve said. Steve Carell? Yeah, yeah, and I said, I, if you eat, he said, if you eat one, I'll eat one, because he never had them. Then I ate one, and he said, I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I was That's like, how my dad is. What? My dad never wants to try stuff. I'm like, come on, Dad. He's like, nah, Keith. Really? Why not? I don't know. My dad never wants to try new things. Well, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take him to New Orleans? Has he got any tattoos? I didn't take my, my dad did drop me off in New Orleans, actually. He didn't stay. He just, like, got me set up while I was there because it was like a girl's does, trip. Does he have a helicopter? No, he just made sure, like, we had to rent a car. You know, he did the whole dad thing. Oh, right. that's good. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I could leave my daughter in New Orleans for the weekend, though. I'd be kind of tricky. My uh, parents I don't have, really I don't have a daughter, but if I did, I... Uh, <laughs> Like, I wouldn't leave my boys there. Actually, well, one of them's only three. It would be kind of illegal. <laughs> it would be crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Well, we're out of time. <laughs> you always do this to me. Well, it's, you know, it's the nature of time. It has a beginning and a middle. That's all end. we've been through. We haven't been through that much. What happened to the, to, the, to the 12 years old, to the whole big thing? This is all a joke to you? <laughs> Look. Look, Kiki, I've watched you grow into a fine young woman, but I have to tell you, it's time for you to go off now and do your own thing. You can't be hanging around here with me and Jeff and Secretariat looking after you the whole time. Why, you gotta go out there and ex experience your life. Get a few tattoos. I gotta get some chapter sixes, huh? Uh, I, I don't think I should be reading those. I... No, uh, you know, just get a few more episodes. <laughs> Awkward pause or meditation? Hmm. Give me it again. Awkward pause <laughs> or meditation? Awkward pause. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking like I'm scaring you. <laughs> Am I scaring you? No. I'm scarier than you. Yes. <laughs> 13th on Shoot Time. It's Kiki Palmer, everybody. Kiki Palmer. You know, you look amazing. Just oh my gosh, amazing. thank like, you so much. Wow. I was very sad because my voice wasn't as, you know, prepped up as it usually is. Oh, I like it's a little it. little bit hoarse, so I'm sad for this. No, I like it. But I have a bit of a problem with it because you look so great and your voice is kind of like, hey, it's like I've had it. <laughs> And but so I, also of, can, I can also get my little sexy vibe like, thank you so much for having me on the show today. Yeah, see, that, now that's freaking me out a little bit. Because the first time you were on the show, you were 12. <laughs> Every time. You yeah. know, I'm growing up now. Why can't you accept this from me? I, I can't accept it. That's what's freaking me out. <laughs> I'm like, oh. 
Um, like, it makes me feel like, you know, what guys must feel like when they have daughters that grow into beautiful women. They must be like, well, what the hell am I going to do now? <laughs> You're gonna accept it now. Yeah, I, no, I accept it. Clearly, it, I would have to be in full flight from reality to not see you're a beautiful woman, but... I need help. You need help? Yes, I'm starting a talk show. I need, I need to learn some things from you. What kind of... You come in the wrong place for a talk show, uh... what? Well, here's what I would do. Deconstruct the genre, get yourself a skeleton robot, and cuss as much as possible. Advice, Craig, and you know it. All right, then. Uh, look what, what people are saying on uh, Twitter or on the internet, okay. and whatever suggestions they make, follow them. <laughs> and then you'll make a great show. I have another thing for you. Are you going to let me interview you on my show? Sure, you want to do me in... Uh, I mean, interview me now? <laughs> Knock it off! <laughs> I've known her since she was a little girl! <laughs> yeah, go ahead, start. I'll pretend I'm on your guest. Hi, Kiki. How have you been? It's so wonderful to have you. Thanks. <laughs> so tell me, how have you been lately? What's new? Well, um, I've, uh, I've, I've been to, I've bought a house. A house? Is this your first house? No, I'm 52 years old, Kiki. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your... Don't you have producers? <laughs> you gotta look me up before I come on the show. See how you do me? You're gonna be, you're gonna embarrass me on my show. No, I wouldn't embarrass you on your show. I wouldn't dream of doing that. That's not what I'm about. I, honestly, I mean, I have some fun and stuff. But I don't want to try. You know what I would say? Like, if, if so, you want someone to enjoy being on the show, just treat them like you would somebody in your house. Like, you know, somebody you like. Oh. You know, and only have people you like on the show. Number one rule. Like, so when, when they have, like, hey, you can have this big star, and you're like, well, that's a douche. No. <laughs> now. It will affect you in the ratings. <laughs> Schnitzel. You know. So pretty much don't sell myself out. Well, a little bit. You know, you can sell out a little bit, but not so much as it makes you feel bad about yourself. Okay, okay. You know, you gotta, the reality, you gotta pay the bills. Okay, okay, yeah. I definitely can dig that, I can dig that. Any other tips you got for your girl? Uh, no, that's it. <laughs> Why are you doing a talk show? I mean, is it something you wanted to do? Yes, it's been something I've wanted to do for a very, very long time. Uh, the past three years, actually. Um, I just felt there wasn't anything on television that really offered my generation a place where they could talk about the issues. Either it's, you know, we're talking about twerking and all this other crazy stuff, or we're talking about nothing. There's nothing in that in-between time where we can really express what we're going through. And but don't you, don't you enjoy middle-aged white guys mocking you? <laughs> No, we don't. We, oh, really? I resent that. I thought that's what the young folks love. <laughs> no, it makes us feel very judged. Well, you know, I, I think it's, it's only done from a place of fear. <laughs> I actually think that could be true. It is true. Of children are the future, right? I believe children are the future. <laughs> Teach them well and they will... <laughs> Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride. <laughs> <Okay>. uh, <laughs> I think, I think I'm done. I can't go me any further. Me too, me yeah. too. I need uh, lyrics. Well, that's, that's good, though. I like, I like that you're doing it. Now, what issues are you going to talk about? Is it going to be, like, a hard news thing? Or is it, like, pop well, culture? or pop culture and hard news thing. Everything in between. We're going to talk right. about... You're going to do a monologue? Like, hey, you're right, baby. <laughs> yeah, you got to do it. <laughs> well, what's this about here? Yeah, yeah, it's a Leno thing. It's like... Uh, I always think of Jay's monologue, because Jay was, like, you know, he did the archetypal late-night monologue. He was like, hey, the, the thing, the thing, you know. <laughs> Are you going to do that? No, I'm going to be more like, you know, what, what's on your mind? Let's talk about, you know, we're going to talk about, you're going to laugh when I say this. We're going to talk right. about sex. <laughs> I'm gonna... very uncomfortable when you use that word around here. Sex. Okay. okay. <laughs> right. We're going to talk about um, growing pains, going off to college. You know, yeah. what happens when you first live on your own. Uh, you know the first thing I did when I lived on my own? Bought a melon. Bought a melon. Yeah, yeah. Because I had this thing that, like, my, uh, my mom used to always say, you can only have one slice of melon. <laughs> one slice of melon. That melon's for the whole family. <laughs> and so when I moved into a place, my own melons were like a buck. And I bought one, and I ate the whole damn thing myself. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Then, then I went and got some Coke. What's in this cup here? Uh, it's uh, just a drink of water. 
Get yourself some kind of signature beverage container as well. That's always a good idea. Have you kind got... of some trademark, yeah? Yeah, you know, something that says, just Kiki. Ah. <laughs> Do you know that a keek is uh, what Scottish people say to babies when they're playing peekaboo? They go, keek. <laughs> so I'm friendly, I'm lovable. You can yeah, yeah, keek. trust me with your kids. That's what keeky means, right? Sure. <laughs> I ran with that one. I ran with that no, one. No, no, it's good. Anyway, uh, we're out of time. That's another thing. You've got you to figure out... Uh, I, what, what did I say, that David? That was so fast. You barely even gave me a chance. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no. The thing is, and then there's people who'll be like, hey, I want more time, and you'll be like, sorry. <laughs> Then you have to do an awkward pause, or a mouth organ, or uh, we could pretend to eat kale balls. Kale balls, no. I can't take it. Not even imaginary. I do. <laughs> I do the show. We, we, we've, uh... I, look, they, they put a sign up. You never did the jingle. Yeah. Like, well, I, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't you wait to after the show to correct me? You're correcting me during the show? Do you believe this? What the hell, man? I know, what the hell, man? <laughs> it's we're trying to create a Socratic dialogue here. And we are interrupting with your bucket about jingles. <laughs> and, and for some reason, I seem to have developed some kind of uh, uh, foghorn leghorn kind of a talk. Well, I say, I, 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 I say, say I, are you a chicken hawk, son, or a chicken? Uh, I say, look at me, look at me when I'm talking to you, son. Are, are you having a spasm? Yes, yeah, so, <laughs> I'm so, I'm some kind of cartoon spasm. A cartoon spasm? Yeah. I'm having a risco. That's what they're called. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Ryan in Risco, Frisco in Texas. Uh, have you ever been there? I, I oh, yeah, oh, sure, no. Okay. Well, that's from him. Uh, <laughs> did you just, oh, a piece of paper? Look, to be honest, I don't even think that it arrives on a piece of paper. Why do we have pieces of paper anyway? It's meant to be emails and tweets. And you put them on a piece of paper like they arrived by owl. <laughs> and then you put up a little bit, oh, you never did the jingle. Well, maybe I didn't want to do the jingle. Maybe, maybe I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. Jeff, did you remember the jingle? No, I didn't care to remember right, the jingle. Right, exactly. Because me and Jeff, we were a team. We didn't want to do the jingle. You know why we didn't want to do the jingle? I'll tell you why. Because we... We don't give up uh -oh. about the jingle, right, Jeff? That's right. Right. Yeah. God. I mean, do you believe this? Do you believe? I mean, you try, you try your best. Every night you bring the guys out from the audience, you interview people, you go, oh, I like your movie, oh, that sounds great. Like you did go. And then, <laughs> then we have to listen to some. I got a I got a Tell me that I didn't do the jingle. <laughs> like sure. any. Nobody ever watch the show for the jingle. Nobody cares about the damn jingle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, well, you got to stay up late tonight and see what the jingle is? <laughs> yeah. Now I don't have any time left for the emails. You see? You see what he's done? You see what he's done? You've ruined, you've ruined the show. You've ruined the show. I say, I say, look at me when I'm talking to you, son. I say, 